do here today is create a gravity fed bee feeder for my bees. Let's see, we got uh, $5.19 into this project. What we're going to do here with these buckets is they've got this lip around them here that have individual cavities. We're going to drill holes. We're going to use a top that has a rubber grommet on the inside of it. That's going to keep our fluid in. We'll fill that up, flip it upside down outside. Bees will feed in this ring right here. I created one of these uh, a couple of weeks ago. We're going to use a 7 uh, 64ths size drill bit. I created one of these a few weeks ago and put it out for my bees. And I was quite surprised that it took them 12 days to find it. Once they did find it, they managed to empty it in uh, two and a half days. Uh, I've got three hives. Um, I had five gallons, eh, four and a half gallons of uh, sugar in there. Um, I used 25 pounds of sugar and two gallons of water. Uh, which made it a little bit less than two to one, but uh, close enough. So what you need to do with these holes is we're going to place them on the inside of the bucket here so that the sugar water can fill up into these holes. You need to make sure that where the handles are attached to the bucket that you don't drill through the side of the bucket there. Otherwise it's going to leak out the side here and you're just going to have a big mess on your hands. You also want to make sure when you're drilling the hole that it is below the top of this lip here. Otherwise, again, if it's too high, it's just going to continuously flow over the side of this once you turn it upside down. If you hold it up to the light, it's fairly easy to see where those lines are. Don't know what, how well you'll be able to see this. Try to get it where the light shines through. But you can see the holes there. You can see them if you look down this way here. We're gonna go all the way around the bucket, continue doing that, and then I'm gonna take these outside and give them to the bees. Here you can see the feeder set up upside down on the tailgate of my truck. Go ahead and zoom in here. Bees are loving it. Now that they know where it is. One thing that I've heard is important, I haven't tried personally, is to keep it away from your hives. So if you'll look, you can see my hives out here, probably about 100 yards away. I've got three of them set up there on the other side of those tomatoes with some empty super stacked up off to the left. Conventional wisdom is that if you were to place these too close to the hives, that you need to start worrying about robbing. And this time of the season, I don't need to worry about that. I'm Andy. I'm Tia. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And hit the bell icon to subscribe so that you get notifications when we post new videos. And don't forget the thumbs up. Thanks. Thank you.